How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going on over the LG Wing. We're going to be seeing can you use a third party launcher with the LG Wing and so far I have been using Nova Launcher since yesterday and everything seems to be working pretty well on here uh, for the most part. Now everybody knows that with the LG Wing you do get that you know LG stock launcher let me see which is this one right here and for the most part it looks okay when you're using it as a normal device but some of the gripes about this is the uh, app tray or the uh, yeah the app tray keeps resetting itself to where it's not in alphabetical like if you download an app it's gonna go all the way towards the end and you have to set sort apps by alphabetical alphabetically and then it'll sort everything again and now everything is back to normal but every time you download an app it goes all the way to the end and it's very annoying and for the most part it's okay it does have google feed over here and when you flip it open you do get that carousel thing which i wasn't a big fan of because you can't really do much with this you can't add any widgets or anything to it uh pretty simple so i went ahead and i downloaded Nova Launcher and I've been trying that on here for quite some time and it seems to work really well so let me go ahead and show you exactly how Nova Launcher is and how I went ahead and set it up so uh, pretty much set this as default so when you first download Nova Launcher you're going to want to set that as your default launcher and now when you flip it up you do get this more uh, nicer options where you could add widgets, you know, and things like that. You still got your uh, Google feed over here on the left hand side, which is pretty cool. And then you also get some other stuff over here so you could add a calendar widget. You swipe up, you have all your apps right there as well. And everything still does work on here to where you could, you know, launch YouTube over here. And you could have a YouTube play at the bottom over here as well. So really, really cool that you could do things like that. And of course, you just go back home and everything works. Double tap works as well on here. So that's really, really nice. No issues there. And you still have that nicer option for everything on the uh, home screen. Sometimes if you restart it or something like that, it will mess up a little bit, but you just hit restart and then you get your Google feedback over here on Nova Launcher. So uh, as far as setting it up to where it it auto rotates and everything works okay on the LG wing I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did as far as setting it up now pretty much the LG wing has two different launchers the main launcher up here on the main screen and then the secondary launcher down here and what I did with that is pretty much minimized it put some widgets over here and then you still have your app drawer I made all of my apps available for that app drawer so I can launch anything that I want. Now, if you do that whole app pairing thing, you still can use that, but you are limited to certain apps that you could pair to open it. You know, you open it, it'll open up one app down here, one app down here. You're better off just doing it manually. So say I want to go to Facebook, I could open that up here. And if I want to go into settings or something, I could open that down here or you know whatever you want to do if you want to open up chrome you could do that down here as well and just do everything manually and that gives you more control of what you can do with these screens and of course everything rotates back on over so my settings for nova launcher uh see if i could try to remember each one of them all right so first thing nova launcher you're going to want to download it. Links will be posted in the description down below. You're going to go into your settings. And as far as home screen grid, I kept it at 5x5. Five five. Icons at about 120. You could change your icon size if you want as well. And as far as the dock, I went ahead and removed the dock. Because if you have the dock on there, you swipe on home and you swipe it this way. You're going to have your apps over here, which is a little weird for the dock. So I went ahead and just took that off entirely. That way, when you uh, swipe it up, it just looks a lot more cleaner. So as far as dock, dock goes, I went ahead and turned that off. 
search bar placement it's uh, above the icons didn't really mess with anything there as far as indicator color that stayed as well uh, not much has changed with everything else on the home screen other than just the grid on that app drawer is where I did some changes as well so when you do uh, auto rotate let me see if I can get this uh, we're gonna go ahead and go down the list so when you do auto rotate on your app drawer you do have this the option to do your grids which I changed five by five uh, but if this is in portrait mode so when you're using it like this you'll have your normal grid size but when you go into landscape mode I went ahead and did four by three just so it fills up the uh, the page a little bit nicer and it doesn't make those icons a bit smaller and that spacing a little bit weird so that's what I did right there pretty much four by three and it looks really really nice and clean that's just what I prefer but you could also play with that if you want to uh, customize it further if you you know depending on what you like but you can do this uh, individually by portrait and landscape so that's really nice about Nova so we're gonna keep that as the back color background color I went ahead and changed that to black and let me see if I could do anything else if I did anything on here swipe to open and close that was already set on there swipe indicator was already set by default I did change the accent color to blue and then going on over to folders the window style was the uh, regular window and that was okay mainly when you're in portrait mode but when you flip it open and you open it I went ahead and did the immersive it just looks a lot better let me go ahead and show you guys so when you have this open you get all your stuff right in the middle every time you open a folder rather than it being on over to the side so I went ahead and did that again you can play with it whichever one you want to do whichever one you feel is the best and as far as that goes didn't really do much transition was still at circle and the appearance you could also change whether you're not you know you wanted a squircle or an adaptive or round I just usually keep it on round and that's all that I changed in there night mode of course stays automatic and as far as gestures go I did do the uh, swipe up for app drawer and then for swipe down I did expand notifications double tap will do the uh, screen lock and as far as anything else I did not do anything else for gestures home page when you swipe up from the uh, home I went ahead and just did the uh, default uh, default page on that one that way it doesn't mess anything up and as far as uh, let's see anything else integrations the Google feed I'll post a link in the description now you guys can go check that out as far as the uh, theme goes I went ahead and did the dark theme and notification badges you could add these uh, you will have to grant permission as far as notifications go to uh, do either dynamic dots or numeric dots I went ahead and just did dynamic on that and as far as any other changes I did not make any other changes uh, to make this work it's just on your home screen uh, you want to just make sure you have the uh, auto rotate on there which will be under let's see look and feel which will be screen orientation you're gonna want to make sure that is clicked on auto rotate I also did change the icons as well I downloaded OxyPie from the Play Store just to go with the uh, theme that I have going on the uh, LG wing right now it's sort of an oxygen OS type theme and yeah that's pretty much it I changed that and you can use a third-party launcher with the LG wing and everything seems to be working pretty well on here for the most part you can launch anything you want up here and then still launch stuff down here at the bottom and the only thing is you don't get those options you can put them down here still for the uh, app pairing and that still will work and it'll still launch whatever it needs to launch up here and down here but I just want I just go ahead and keep it simple that way I can open up whatever I want down here and whatever I want up here because if you do the app pairing you are limited only to a certain amount of apps on there so really really nice using Nova launcher on the 
LG wing. Everything seems to work really nicely on here. And check it out. Maybe you guys might like it. As far as the uh, the padding goes on the uh, widgets, you do have to set it a little bit weirder just because when you flick it open, it will sort of stretch that widget out a little bit and cut it off. But just make sure you have enough room to place this on your home screen. If you place it up too high, like so, and you flick it open, it will cut it off right there when you flick into landscape mode. So make sure when you set this widget to resize, you give it some space like so. And then when you flip it open, there you go, everything works just fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Links will be posted down below if you want to check out Nova Launcher. Check it out, you can run a third party launcher on here. I've tried Microsoft Launcher, it worked okay as well, but so far Nova Launcher seems to be doing everything that I want, especially with that double tap. Works perfectly on there. Your, all your gestures work nicely on here too, and it just looks a lot better. Let's face it, LG does not make the best launchers out there. So with that being said guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little notification bell for future notifications on this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, thumbs down if you didn't, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.